Buongiorno from Assisi. This is Father Pascal Mary and my first vlog on Natus and Via, Born on the Way. So join me today for a little journey to a very special place that very, very few know. So you are, you are going on a journey that very few have ever gone before and it's related very much to our dear St. Francis and St. Clair. On March 28, 1211, the night of Palm Sunday reaching into Monday of Holy Week, Claire left her family home, desiring to serve God as soon as possible without clinging even to the dust. And not even the barricaded door of the dead could stop her. If the sky was clear, the moon that night would have been almost full, perfect for moonlight absconding out of the city. And the road down Mount Subiaso to the Port Siancla was not a major road at the time, but about two miles of woodland, then swamp, stood between the city and that small Benedictine chapel where the small band of friars was waiting. That was the Port Siancla, and there St. Francis cut her hair, no longer being necessary, but being necessary for the Lord. That night, Francis and a couple of friars took Claire to the monastery of San Paolo in Bastia. This was a Benedictine monastery, a very beautiful one, where she spent a few days and she was found by her family. The next day, they missed her and she had a beautiful tenacity. And Claire staved off the threats and duplicity of her family who tried to woo her back. And in response to their violence force, poisonous advice, and flattering promises, persuading her to give up such a worthless deed that was unbecoming to her class and without precedent to the family, that's what the, the legend said, she took hold of the altar cloth with the strength of her love, maintaining that she would in no way be torn away from the service of Christ. It's this pillar that you see here that was the bottom of the altar that she grabbed onto, or the altar cloth that she grabbed onto. And as she did that, she removed her veil, showing her shorn head that she was totally protected by Christ and totally given over to the service of God and his church. So I thank St. Clair for the beautiful, wonderful, wonderful witness that she is. So thank you for joining me to Nantu Sinvia, this uh, great journey that the Son of God has become for us the way that St. Francis has taught us by, by word and example, as St. Clair said. Prayers.